queens. What is up, you guys? That's what you guys are, and that is what I am. Um, so I'm Michelle Eldridge. Welcome. So if you're new, um, welcome. Say new in the comments below. I want to welcome you. Um, this is a non-judgy, positive, uplifting, all things uh, makeup and beauty all the things okay so I'm so glad to have you and if you're on the replay say hello let me know um, what time you caught this and if you're live what's up happy Thursday um, thankful Thursday usually and I'm super thankful to be with you guys today during nap time borrowed nap time and so we never know how long that's gonna last especially if your mom you know the struggle is real so let's go. I'm going to get ready with you guys. I'm going to try this new mascara. And if at any time you have questions or you want to know how to know, um, find out about anything at all, touch my nose and it'll tell you exactly um, how to do that. I think it's just a cute little thing. You just touch my nose and you can see it. Um, so you guys say hey if you, when you hop on. Um, I love interacting with you guys. Tell me what you're doing today. Hope you're having an amazing day. It's super pretty outside today. Um, and it's been pretty yucky, so I'm so excited about that. Um, P.S. I know that people will ask. So the first thing is, where did I get my necklace? I get asked this all the time. Um, it's at doodlebeads.com. I actually got this one as a gift. Um, but they're like $10 necklaces, and they're super cute. Um, and then this shirt, it's actually like got this knot it's made into it and it says queen obviously and it's kind of fallish um it's actually from the family dollar literally the dollar store and it's just like eight ten dollars so there you go on that so let's go i'm gonna try this new mascara today and we're gonna get ready and we're gonna do some folly vibe looks i'm gonna use my bronzer this is our spray it's absolutely the best setting spray i don't care what makeup you use and i use it as a primer first and it works. What's up, Josh? Hey, Anita, how are you guys? Happy Thursday. Hope you're having an amazing day. Oh, you guys. So, if I like this mascara, right? If I like this mascara and you share this video, comment shared. I'll either get you one of these if I like it or the one that I've been using if I don't like it, right? But somebody can win um, a mascara absolutely free. We don't sell mascara um, with the company that I'm with, but mascara is always um, a vital part of my routine. And so, um, so if you share, comment shared below and you'll be entered to win a mascara that I love, whether it's this one if I love it or um, the other one that I've been using that I love. So we'll see. We'll see which one you get, but you'll definitely get one. Hopefully I love it and you can get one of these and I'll get it for you. Okay, so let's just, let me show you my new compact first. Okay, so I got this. I like to have them all and there's so many. You have the same shirt. I love it. What's up, Loretta? How are you? Um, I love this shirt and it's super cheap, so why not, right? And I'm a gold, yellowy, orange kind of vibe person. I love, orange is my favorite color, so absolutely love, love, love it. Okay, so here's my new compact and I'm absolutely in love with it. Um, we got a lot of new designs and this is one of my favorites. Um, and obviously I use the biggest compact that they have besides the artist um, palette. Um, but I love these, and they come in smaller ones as well. Okay, so uh, let's go. So I popped in a new one of these because let me tell you. So you can heat these up. Once they get like a hole in them, you can pop them in the oven and put it on warm. Watch it, and it'll smooth out and be like new, and you can let it sit for five minutes and then use it. Well, I was doing that and then hardly had a problem, and I went away from the oven and come back 30 minutes later. Don't wait. 30 minutes it will like come on anyway so my color turned like way darker because I let it sit in there and cook um so I just popped in a new one so anyway so these pop out like you can fill it to your needs you can have one in here and it won't fall out um yeah so anyway you just replace them and they're $14 a piece to replace shipping is free okay so let's let's just let's just cover up this face let's cover it up Okay, I'm going to move my hair. The side of my face that has hair, I need to move it. I really do like my hair so far. Thank you guys for sharing. You're awesome. Thank you, Loretta, Anita, Josh, everybody. You're awesome. I really hope that I love this mascara. See, I used to love it. And then the formula changed and it started drying up super fast. 
and then I quit buying it. I mean, that's $30 for a lash mascara. And so it's supposed to have changed again. And do you see these bumps? Here's one, here's one, here's one. And I get red around my nose in the wintertime all the time. And I'm going to cover all that up, my friends. It's all going to be covered up. Okay. Anyway. But it's $30 for a mascara. And I'm not paying that to use it for a month and it not work anymore. Right? Okay. So, hello, coverage. How are you? I've been missing you. I didn't do any makeup yesterday. I let my face breathe. I'm oily, however, like in the winter, my face gets like super dry, and I got this new serum stuff that I've been using, um, and I just done it yesterday. I done my cream, and then I done the serum, and the serum is super cheap, so I'm like, okay, like when I got it, I thought, you know, this probably isn't going to work, um, but it's actually, I'm really liking it. You do it two times a day, um, once in the morning and once at night. And yeah, so, well, I'm hoping that this is good because um, it's supposed to have changed now. And um, so I bought it from a friend of mine that's with Unique. And hopefully I like it. She says it's, it's, it's good now and that it doesn't dry out. So I'm hoping that I'm going to like it because I did love it. Except for the fact that it was drying out and obviously I didn't love that, but... Anyway, so if you share, if I love this mascara, I'm going to get you one. Otherwise, you'll get the mascara that I was using that I did like already. Okay, so either way, you'll win a mascara if you win. And the more shares we get, the more that I will give away. So it's not going to be something like, oh, I'll never win. There's 400 shares. Um, no, the more the shares are, the more that I will get. So... And again, if you, what's up, Vicky? How are you? Um, so I'm going to switch colors now. And I like to give people two highlights. And right now, we have this super awesome collection. I know Anita has it. Where you get all of this minus the pink color that's right here. But you get all of these and a brush and this spray. And you get it $50 off and you get the compact too. It's like worth $200 and you get it for $150. It's absolutely the best thing ever thank you so much for sharing shannon so let's go into that second color that i was talking about and we're just gonna brighten under our eyes this is a big deal you guys because when you do this what happens make sure you go over your eyelids okay no we don't have mascara i'm talking about your mascara actually um i got it from a girl who sells the same thing as you and um, she said that it had changed again, so I'm hoping, and that she liked it now. So I'm hoping that this is good. And this is not the waterproof. It's the water resistant. My eyes, hey Lisa, my eyes can't do waterproof. Um, really the reason that they made the waterproof, and this came from the unique girl's mouth herself, was so that they could sell this cleansing stick that takes the mascara off. And I never thought that the other mascara like faded. So I just think it was a way for them to make money. So um, I'm definitely not buying waterproof from them. I like water resistant. I'm not. Water resistant is just as good. Okay. It's just as good. And if it's not, well, then I won't buy it anymore. So let's hope it's good. Let's hope it's good. $30. Let's hope it's good. Because it ends up being $30 because their shipping isn't free. It's $24 actually. But then like shipping isn't free. And then there's tax. And obviously in Tennessee it's like, whoa, tax. <laughs> tax is off the chain. So yeah, there's that. Okay. Let me drag this a little bit down my neck before I contour. So now I'm going to switch brushes to the Detail Hack brush, which is thank you for sharing because you could possibly win a mascara, Lisa. Um, so I'm going to go into my contour. You guys know that I've been in love with Astoria, especially since it's came out. Um, it's absolutely been one of my must-have, must-use, must, must, must. Because most people, what they do, especially in other companies... Um, is they use a bronzer as contour and bronzer is not contour and so they're using these warm 
red colors and they're making like I don't know they're attempting to make contour but a shadow is not orange or shiny or anything like that now when you get a bronzer if you like the glowy look of bronzer then use it but use it as bronzer you know not a shadow because <laughs> that's not what shadows look like right we we want them to look like what our hair actually leaves on our face and that's why it's important to be color matched before you order anything. That's why you can't just find my link any old place. Like, it's it's on this page, but I don't ever recommend somebody, unless they're getting, like, brushes or eyeshadows or something, blushes, you know, whatever. But if they're getting their actual skin colors, I never recommend. I make sure that people reach out to me because I don't want them getting something that won't work for them. And I'm not going to give them, like, a too light of a shade and then say, oh, just use bronzer. Just use bronzer and clean it up. It's going to be fine. And that's what I was told when I was trying out makeups before I started. I tried Unique's foundation. I tried Limelight. I tried all these other things. And if they got me too light of a shade, because that was my problem, I never could get a shade that actually matched. It was either too light or too dark, just a little. There was never a shade perfect, but they would always give me the lighter one and say, oh, just use bronzer. Just use bronzer. It's fine. And I'm like, no, it's not fine. I don't want to look like a freaking orange person because most bronzers are made. If you have light skin, they make you look like a Cheeto. And that's not me, man. I don't want to be a Cheeto. I'm, I, you know, I kind of like looking like the rest of my body so the bronzer that I have now I was so scared to get um, that we came out with um, because I didn't like our first one um, at all just being real with you um, and I was like oh gosh right I don't know if I want to buy this at all but I got it and I tried it because I don't like to recommend something if I've not tried it. Just like I didn't recommend that other bronzer unless they were dark skinned because it made me look rough. But this bronzer actually looks good on me and I'm going to show it to you because I'm doing a folly, losing my color look today. So, awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Let me move my, my hair out of my, my blending area. I need... I need to do this. I need to blend it. I took a shower. Uh, ooh, yeah, I took a shower. Um, hey, Becky, thank you. Um, I'm going to add some more because I need some more right there. Okay. Um, so, I took a shower and I had not fixed my own hair yet. Like, what you've been seeing for the last two days was like, I left the, you know, I left the, what is it called? I left the beauty shop. And then, um, she, like, she had done my hair. And then I uh, had, then what happened? And then, obviously, I woke up yesterday and just wore it the way it was. And when I washed my hair, I was so nervous. I was so scared. I was like, I don't even know if I'm going to get this to look anything like what she done to me. And I'm so, I was so scared. But... Lo and behold, I did it. I did it better than I thought I would do it anyway. Um, I've been practicing my hair skills. and Because, I don't know, for whatever reason, especially on Instagram, people have been asking me, even before I cut my hair, but especially since, how I do my hair. And I'm like, uh, what? You care how I do my hair? Why? I don't think I do very good. But anyway, so I've been practicing so that I could share what I do with you guys, like on camera, because I need, um, well, sometimes I might burn myself, you know, stuff like that, <laughs> just stuff like that. So, um, I've been practicing, so I hope that I can bring that to you guys soon. <gasps> oh, and if you did not see, if you did not see, we are doing, our team collaborated so that we could do this Halloween thing and we all paid if they didn't pay then they didn't get to invite people right but if you pay then it goes goes in the prize pool 
and we've got like an iPad Pro that was just released and we've got all kinds of gift cards and we got AirPods and we got a clutch and all these other awesome prizes that we've got for you guys in our Halloween thing. What's up, Shay? And our Halloween thing is going to be, it's going to be Halloween looks and normal looks, but they're going to be, they're all done, obviously, with this um, makeup and little things you'll find at home, or you can easily come by that's not going to be, like, way too hard for you or way too expensive, and that's always our thing, never breaking the bank and doing stuff that anybody can do. And so, it's going to be the 24th and the 25th, and I put a post on this page. If you're not in my VIP group, right, it's on this page. You can see it. And then if you're in my VIP group and you've already commented, awesome. But if you want to be in that and you've not commented yet, when I get off of here, go find that post. There's a video, and it is awesome. It's the last post that I posted. I actually posted it on here today. You can comment your emoji, and we will get you in there before the 24th. Um, because it's going to be, it's going to be the bomb. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, sorry about that, you guys. Oh, I've done that, like, on my video yesterday, my live video on my personal page. Oh, I'm getting this lighter color back out, you guys. Um, I've done a video, and my phone kept ringing. And instead of turning it down, I just kept ignoring it. But I didn't realize, I forgot that everybody could hear it. And I was like, oh, great, that's great. When I watched it back, and yes, I watch it back sometimes. Especially ones where I'm not wearing makeup at all. That was kind of freaky. But I've came out of my, like, comfort zone a whole lot. And it helps me. So, it's fine. Okay, so now I need to put some right here. This just adds, like, dimension takes that makes my nose look so small and I want it to look smaller because I have a large nose and so there we go all right so let me blend this out now because well we don't want too much and so the perfecter will pick it up and anything that's extra well it will take it off and that way you're not caking your face and looking crazy we don't want you to look crazy we want you to look fly we want you to look like a Queen. That's what we want. Okay? Queen status up in here. You're all queens. You're all queens. Okay. Just so you know, um, I'm working on nap time. That's why you don't hear a child. Just FYI. So now I'm going to spray my face. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to try something different. I'm going to do my powder first. And then I'm going to um, spray my face. So, I went back to my other powder. Um, I feel like that Laura Mercier powder was legit. Hey, Mookie. Um, I feel like it was legit um, making my makeup like, oh, my God. Like, I was like, whoa, what's happening with my face? I did not know what was going on. And I had, wasn't realizing that I had, like, switched powders. I wasn't thinking about switching powders. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, what is happening? Like, am I using the wrong color? What am I doing? And what it was was the powder. And it was, like, bunching up in spots on my face. Oh, my word. I was flipping out. And I was like, no more of that, honey. No, no, I'm going back to my other powder. No, no, no more, no more. And I've not done it, I've not wore it again since because, uh-uh, no. I know my makeup don't bunch up and it don't do all that. So I was like, what's happening to my face? It's so messed up. It wasn't my face. It was the powder that I was putting on my face, thankfully. Okay, so now I've just switched ends of the Power Powder Brush, and this brush is a really good brush to have. And I'm just pressing it in to my skin so that, well, there's nothing out or extra, right? Again, we don't want extra. We just want what we have to have. And so this will kind of shake off anything we don't need and press the rest into our skin and give us the look that we use. Um, so, I use It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. 
Um, and if you would like a link to that, I can get it for you. Okay, I have links for anything that I use. And um, obviously, if it's something that I sell, I can help you pick. Um, but I have links to anything I use because people ask me all the time, what am I using? So, why wouldn't I have them? Okay, so now I'm going to do my blush. And I've been just using all my brushes. I don't have to. I could literally use this one brush for my whole face. But because I have them all, I use them because that's what they're good for, right? So, I'm going to use... Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to do my bronzer first. Okay, sorry, you guys. So, I'm going to go into this bronzer and I'm going to use the fluffy side. And I'm hoping you can kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm just barely rubbing that over it, okay? I'm going to see if I can see it. Yeah, you can see. Okay, so this is quite a bit. I've got that, um, wait a second, I've got that eyeshadow on there too. We don't want that. So this is quite a bit. This is quite a bit. So you want to smile kind of, and where the sun would hit you, right? Kind of anywhere the sun would hit. You want to place a little bit. Place it because it's so pigmented. I doubt I'll ever run out in my entire life. Okay, like literally, that's a lot of stuff. And then you want to just go, and in my forehead, I'll just do like circular motions. Barely am I touching my face. Barely. And what happens is instead of turning me into a Cheeto, it just gives me color. And it warms me up. And it makes me look not so white, even though I am, right? It just makes it look way more natural and gives me some color. And I'm trying to do it in a way that you can see, but really, it's hard with this light. I'll show you when I'm done in the real light, though. Okay, I need a little bit more on this side. And and, and you can add more as you go if you want. Oh, that's, that's contour, dear Lord, Michelle. Um, you can add more as you go if you want, but do not add, like, too much at once because you're not going to like that. Okay. Now, there we go. Wipe that on my hand. And then you just want to barely, you're, I'm barely touching my face. And swirl it out and it will make this natural glowy warm tone to your face without making us fair skin girls look like a Cheeto right that's what we want or that's what I want anyway now you could use more like we have artists who are all out crazy with bronzer and that's their thing and that's awesome you totally can do that um, it's just not my thing and so I do what I like Okay, so now we're going to get um, blush, which is, I'm going to use all three of these, not the pink, but the all of the rest of this, like you would get your skin color, a brightener, a contour, a color for your liner, an illuminator, um, these three blushes, lipsticks, that they're all lipsticks and blushes, um, and you, yeah, they all come in that collection along with the brush and the spray, but I'm using Bare. I love Bare with the bronzer. Absolutely love it. Um, it's my favorite. Thank you. I'm so glad you love it. I do like to do my blush after I do my powder because I'm light, lighter with blush anyway, so I don't want to kill it when I put it on. Like, I don't want to kill the blush with powder, like tone it too much down. So I just wait. And you don't want to leave a space between your contour and your blush. There should not be a skin color between your blush and your contour. It should be like seamlessly there. And that way it's more natural. It looks real. And I mean, it doesn't have to be natural looking. You can do a bright blush, a bright contour, a dark contour, whatever. But it still needs to be together. Um, otherwise, you're going to look like you literally just drew a line on your face and slapped some color over it. And that's not what any of us want. I don't care how much makeup you like to wear. Um, you don't want to do that. Okay. So, I've just fixed this. Okay. So, now we're going to do illuminator super quick. And Pearl has been my baby for the last little bit. Um, and Dream, Dream is in that collection that I was telling you about that's on sale right now. 
Um, I think that this probably is one of my favorites ever sales that we've done. We don't do them a lot, but I think it's perfect. It's perfect to transition into fall. It's perfect for a new customer. It's just perfect. Um, and the person at the end of the month who's liked and, or shoot, not liked rather, commented, shared my stuff the most, um, is going to win one of those collections for free. Um, and I'll match them to their skin color. Yeah. Okay. So now let's touch my nose. Dirt. 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 Right there. Hello. Hello, Glow. Hi. How are you? And I also, Sabrina is back in and I'm so glad because I use it all the time. Um, and it's on sale as well. Um, but I'll show you. I'll also um, touch my, I'll also go over my illuminator with Sab Sabrina, which is a powder. But I always do this first because it, it just isn't the same by itself. But with your illuminator first, then Sabrina, it's like, wait, what? You look bomb. Let me get that off my lips. Let me just get that off of me. Okay. Hmm, let me pat it back in. I don't know why I just done that. That's fine. Okay. All right. So what do I need to do? I guess I need to do brows, which are the most boring thing ever. But we're going to do them anyway. Let me get, well, I'll just wipe it on my hand. It's fine. So, brows, hey, Crystal. So, brows are going to be this color, and you're going to get it. Your contour color will also work for your brows, so it's your choice. Um, I use this as liner as well, and this brush is a multitasker brush. I use this on my lips. I usually do it on my nose contour when I'm not in a hurry. Um, I use this brush for basically everything. Um, you need this brush. Um, hey, Rosemary, what's up, you guys? So, anybody who shares, just know you're going to get a mascara if you win. Whether it's the one, if I like this one, you'll get this one. If not, um, you'll get another one that I do like for sure. So either way, you're going to win a lash mascara. No, we don't sell lash mascara. But we... But I still can give it to people. I don't just use stuff I sell. Dirt. And I think that's what hurts a lot of people. Is they think they can only use what they sell and it's like wait what why why wouldn't you share something that you know is gonna work for people oh wait I know why they don't because they're not gonna get paid if you buy something that um, they don't sell so they don't tell you about it and that's how you know somebody is not truly authentic and they're not truly trying to serve you. They're trying to serve themselves. And you guys see me every Monday on my personal page trying to help this profession out because it's all about me, 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 me to a lot of them and it's just not the case. There are the reasons that if anybody has a bad taste in their mouth about the profession, it's because of them. The people who teach about me, 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 it's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. It, it like your probability changes and that is a number. But people are people and that's what I'm trying to help them see. So, like think of it, you're helping people. You're not just going through numbers. And that's what I try to do. So hopefully, if you know anybody in the profession, to send them Mondays. Maybe they won't spam you to death um, after they watch me a couple times. <laughs> I don't know. She's asleep. She's good. She's um, been doing better since night before last. And I'm glad because she's... Like, Jace has a lot more problems than Harley does. But she's still small, and when they're small, they can't, you know, they can't really tell you what is wrong, and you just kind of wing it, and I prefer to know what's going on. So with her, it was good. I could see, like, what was happening. I could hear it, but still, you know, they can't tell me. She can't say, oh, this hurts, or that hurts, and it just bothers me. But 
It's okay. We've got it figured out now. But whereas Jay's, he can say, you know, his back hurts or his, or his chest hurts or whatever it is because Jace has a back problem um, and a lung problem or whatever. And he can just tell me, oh, this is what's going on. Whereas when he was small or like Harley, he couldn't say it and I would just have to guess. Well, he's crying because his spine hurts or he's played too much today so his lungs are hurting or maybe it's his back, maybe it's his legs. Like I just had no idea. And so I would just have to guess, and it sucked. And I think that traumatized me a little bit. Because now, I really always think I need to know. Like, I want to know what it is. And when they're sick, you really can't do anything about it, except give them medicine. And that, that's even harder on me, because I can't fix it. And yeah, yeah, anyway, I don't know how I got off on that. I'm trying to see this brow, but my hair keeps getting in the way. Trying to make an arch right here. Just a slight one. There we go. Um, yeah. That's better. That's better. Okay. Yeah, me too. I really am. Because she, she's just not, it's not normal for her to just be like chilling. She's not a chiller. She doesn't chill. It's not a thing. <laughs> there is no chill with Harley. There is only go or hide. And that's if she's around people because she doesn't know or like very many people. Okay, so hopefully these brows are good enough because they're the most boring thing that I do. And I'm sorry, but I don't want to come on here with just brows. I feel like it looks so dumb. Anyway, so let me turn this brush over and I'm going to get some contour on this brush. I'm going to make myself some lips real quick. And I like making my own lips. <gasps> I like to go on and just above. Not just above by itself, but on and just above. And I kind of blend it down. I don't line all the way around my mouth. Because all that does, now I'm blending this up. Because all it does is make you have this like 90s lip liner instead of a shadow. And the shadow is what we want. Okay. So the color that I used on my cheeks, which was bare, I need to use it on lips. It's a lip and cheek color. And my lips get super dry. So I like to pack it on, pack it on. And then Get my illuminator and touch the center. So I'm going to get the illuminator on my finger so I don't mix that. And touch the center of my lips with that. And then go right here with it as well. And then now I've got these big, huge lips that I didn't have a few seconds ago, right? That's what we want. We all like that. Okay, so now let's do some eyeshadow. So I'm going to use, um, what am I going to use? I'm going to use Bubba today since I'm going for this bronzy look. And it's still available as well. And I dig it. I'm going to do something just a little different than I usually do. So I'm going to feather this up some. And on the outer edge come up in here I'm gonna kind of make that disappear like just blend towards my lash and this is good for any eye shape so you could do this look no matter who or what okay 
and then you just want to blend it over and make it seamless. Make sure that your eyes open when you're doing this part so that you see that you're doing it in the right way. Thank you. And then you just windshield wiper it. And what you're doing by doing, make sure your hand is back. What you're doing when you're doing this is you're making it more natural bronzy looking, but it's still giving you this cute look, right? Okay. So now let's get some more over here. Okay. Hopefully I can do this twice. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to come right here. Again, wow, my hair, this is going to be great. And then we're going to come up. I need some more on this brush. Okay. I need to close my eye, but I've got so much skin on this eye, it's harder. So I try to leave it open. Because if you leave it shut, what happens is... I'm just kind of blending this out as I go with my eye up and my hand back, okay? My hand is back on the brush. Now, what I like to do is I like to blend it so softly, right? Do you see how soft that it blends out, right? It makes it so soft. And that is the beauty of moving your hand back. It makes it blend so much better because you have a heavier hand when you're close up like that and that's not helping you or your eyes so don't go close up I need to move some this way so hold on okay now now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take trust which is also a color let me blend that a little bit Trust is a color that it just came back. And I'm going to deepen my crease with trust and leave this as like the bronzy, cute, warm, more natural looking thing. But I'm going to go in with trust and, and actually like contour my eyes. So trust is right here and it's, and again, it's on sale and it's back. And I switched ends of my brush, if you can see. And I'm going to go and I'm going to turn my brush up, right? Just gonna go right into the crease just like that okay now leave it same thing and we'll darken it up but we add as we go okay we don't do dark at first we always darken as we go and you want to hold your brush like this when you're doing this kind of thing with the blunt end of the brush and when you have more skin on one side do not worry it'll be okay we'll blend it and you'll see the beauty in it when I'm done so if you get a little extra like I just did right there just wipe it off it's fine okay so now we're gonna switch ends <clears throat> let me wipe this on my hand and we're just gonna blend it it's going to make a nice, cute little shadow. And it's going to be adorable. Thank you, Lisa. I don't know if I said that already or not, but thanks. So now we have a shadow and the warmth, right? And we're just windshield wiping it out. Take your time. We don't want it to look crazy or like we just give each other a black eye, right? We want it to look good. So let's smoke this out some more. Not smoke it out, smudge it out with the brush. And it still leaves your line, but it blends the two together so much better. Okay, so now we have this shadow that's like contoured your eye, right? So now we're gonna get a brighter color, which is the Sabrina and where it comes in. And we're going to take it, let me get it, one sec. Sabrina, well actually, wait, let's get Bright Eyes first. It's not available right now, but it will be. So here's Bright Eyes, and we're going to, I've got an eyelash in it. We're going to look up and touch it right above 
your pupil, okay? And if you don't like a matte, or shoot, if you don't like a shimmer right here, say you have really bad hooded eyes, maybe worse than mine. I've got hair in my mouth. Um, don't use a matte. Use something like a bird or basic. Don't use bright eyes or shimmer if you have way more hooded eyes right on your lid, right? But you always can. I don't care what shape you have. You can do it if you want to do it. And that's what I tell people. Don't follow any rule unless it's something that really will make your eyes look worse, okay? That we don't we don't follow rules unless it just makes us look bad. Something that we don't like, right? Not what other people are going to like, what we don't like. If we think it makes us look worse, then we don't do it. But if other people think we don't we don't look good, but we do, who cares, right? That's the point. Okay. So now to Sabrina, the magic happens here. Ready? Boom. Magic. Boom. More magic. Hello. Let's line this brow. Lift that baby up. And that's essentially what you're doing is you're lifting it when you do this. Okay. I'm going to have to get that off. There we go. Okay, let's go over here, make some more magic. Lift this brow. All we do is manipulate the light. All we do. Okay, so we've lifted our brows. We've highlighted the inner corners. Now, we're going to take it and go right in here. Feather it back and out. So that if you did get too dark, right at the beginning, or right at the inner part of your eye, you're no longer gonna look like you have a black eye. It's gonna blend out and be gorgeous. Gorgeous, my friends. Okay, so now we have a cute look. We're gonna take the other side, I'm gonna wipe this off. and We're just gonna kind of blend it together okay same thing the lights hitting that Sabrina and it's making it really bright so funny okay and that's how you get your lift it's when the light hits it that's the point of the illuminator that's the point of Sabrina and I'm also going to take Sabrina make sure I've got all that off there and I'm going to touch my nose I'm going to show you what I was talking about so I always go like this I go right here and I go right here and sometimes just a very tad little bit right here because it will glow I'm telling you it'll glow promise I do more on my nose than I do anywhere and I like to barely barely touch it okay so now let's blend it and we're gonna get to liner and then we're gonna get to mascara and we'll be done okay so I'm blending this so that I make sure that I'm not like having this weirdo line going on oh shoot hold on hold on okay so now let's get um, we're gonna finish our liner and part of my liner is I'm gonna get the Bubba that I actually used right here or that I used in my crease then first color that I use right Right here, I've got an eyelash falling off. That's fun. Okay, same thing over here. Hold on, you guys. Sorry, you guys. So sorry. So so sorry about that. That's ridiculous. So so sorry. Every time I do a video, somebody calls me. I swear. Last night, I got a call like four times. I've got a hair on my eye and it's driving me crazy. 
Okay, now the liner part. The liner is the, the color that I used in my brows. And I'm just going to take it. I'm using the multitasker brush. Also, the same brush that I used for my lips. My, my lips, my brows. And you can wing it with this brush super simply. You just give it a flick. And it looks amazing. Okay. So now, hold on, let me do it with my eye open. Okay. Flick it out, guys. Flick it out. Bam. What you don't want, voila. Okay, now let's do this side. I actually answered the phone, I'm like, give me five minutes. Five minutes, I'll call you back. This is the life of an entrepreneur. This is it. Every time you go to do something, Someone needs to call you. And you're just like, okay, well, you'll have to wait. You're not in my schedule right now. Okay, so we're going to wing this out as well. But this side has more skin, so we want to make sure that it doesn't get creepy. Okay, so don't be afraid to pull your skin out a little bit. Like, don't kill your face, right? But don't be afraid to pull it out if you have extra skin. That's it's totally okay. Now I'm going to darken it up just a little bit and then we'll be done. I won't put any, hardly at all, on the bottom when I use like an extravagant. Okay. Now I'll just use what's left right here in the corners and that's it you guys and then I just kind of like feather it out and let that be that now this is a super super folly look right now to finish it off so everything that I've entirely used on my face is in here every single thing except the brushes hey Reva um, so every single thing. So now, and obviously the brushes are the bomb. They're all double-ended. Um, so now we're going to do the mascara and let's just pray that we love it and we like it. And sorry, I'm putting this up, but I've got this weird feeling that Harley's coming. And so let me just move it out of the way. Okay. So it's brand new. I've not opened it at all until like I cracked the top so it'd be easier. So here's this mascara, and we're going to hope that I love it because obviously, well, somebody's going to win one if I love it, and two, because I spent $30 on it. I've got this makeup all over my arm. That's fun. Um, so we want it to be good. Never pump your mascara. Uh, never do it. And I don't know why, but I need to say this again because I just said it in a video the other day, but I'm going to say it again. I am not with you, Nick. Okay? Okay. Just want everybody to clear. And I'm not with limelight or cinegens. Okay? Okay. There we go. Everybody asks, are you in unique? Are you with unique? You're with unique, right? No, no, no. This is their mascara. And I'm hoping that I like it this time again. Because I used to love it. And then the formula changed. And then I didn't love it. So let's hope that this is better. So far, I'm not so sure yet. Thank you. I am digging it as well. I really like it so far. Um, so I used to love it. And then when it changed, the formula it was drying out super fast. And I'm not going to pay $30 for something that dries out super fast. Um, so yeah. Wasn't going to do it. So I stopped using it. And actually Thrive is better. Um... But only because it didn't dry out all the time. And so hopefully this won't dry out within like a week. And I'll love it. And then somebody will win one. Because obviously it's a good, like it looks great. I, I love this, right? Um, let's just, I just don't like it drying out inside. 
Um, because I'm not going to buy $30 mascara once a week. It's not going to happen. If it doesn't at least last three months, I'm not paying that for it. I won't do it. So, that's one good thing I can say about Thrive, that theirs does last. Uh, probably even more than three months, really. But three months is my limit on a mascara. I'll get a new one. Because I feel like... Well, it's just time to get a new one. Just like a perfecter sponge or a blender, whatever you want to call it. Every three months, I don't care how much you clean them, you need to throw it out and get another one. Because, yeah. So I'm liking it so far. Obviously, it's always was a good mascara. Um, it was just, was it going to dry out or not? And so since they done the redone the formula, I was like, well, is it going to be as good or since they said they redone the formula I should say because they're they've been known to tell stories um, and I know this just to be a fact so anybody who thinks I'm throwing shade it's not true like obviously it's it I wouldn't say it if it wasn't a fact um, anyway this is getting on my nerves right there I don't know why it's being like that Okay, anyway, let's do the bottom. What's up, Glenda? Hi, whoa. So don't dip again into your mascara to do your lower lashes. Especially if you're one of those people who are like, my mascara always runs. Well, don't use a lot on the bottom of your lashes. If you use, if you put it on your lower lashes, use a very little and you're going to see a tremendous difference. So let me move this my hair out of the way. I probably just put that in my hair. And that's great, but it's fine. And if you're just hopping on, just know somebody's going to win either this mascara or a different one. I'm hoping that I love this one, and I'll just get one of these for you guys. Um, and the more shares, the more of them that I will get and give away. Um, so don't think if you see 400 shares that you don't have a chance. Um, because I always make it fair. Um, you just have to say that you've shared after you share. Um, because Facebook only tells me after like the first few people do. They tell me their names. And then after that, it's just like, oh. Right? And I will check. So if you say shared and you're a winner, I will check to make sure that you actually did share. So, okay, you guys. I think that I did, like, obviously I knew that I would like it if it was anything like before, or I wouldn't have bought it again, but I just hope that it doesn't dry out. And this is water resistant. This is not the waterproof, and I don't know why my lashes right there are being such a pain in the butt. That is so annoying. Oh, my word. I need one of those little brush thingies. Gonna fix that stupid lash. I don't know. Oh my gosh. You guys, that's annoying. I don't know. Forget it. I'll fix it when I get off here. Oh, okay. So let me show you guys in the light. The real light. Like the outside light. So this is in a window. Let me make it not blurry. This is in a window. This is like, hello. Hello, right? It looks good. My contour looks good. My bronzer looks good. I've got this glow. Do you see my illuminator? Everything. My nose is thinner. I've lost literally like five pounds in my face. I literally feel like a queen now because I look like a queen now, right? Hello. So if you have questions about anything that I use, comment make up below or feel free to message me, Michelle Eldridge. And I will personally get you links. I will match you. I will do whatever. Anything that I use, um, the, the highest price thing that I use um, are my brushes um, and this mascara. That's the highest price thing that I have used today. And that's it. So if you have questions about anything, just ask. Um, and I'd love to help you. And I will talk to you guys next time. Get those shares in. Somebody's going to win.